Unveiling the hidden pages of literary brilliance within the vast expanse of literature, there exists a hidden gem that beckons the adventurous reader to embark on a journey of intrigue and enlightenment. Among the hidden, a masterwork of imagination penned by the brilliant wordsmith Margaret Peterson Haddix, is poised to enrapture your senses and ignite the fires of curiosity within your soul. As you turn the pages of this gripping tale, you will find yourself immersed in a world of secrets, revelations, and the indomitable spirit of a young protagonist who defies the confines of a dystopian society. But before we plunge into the depths of this enthralling narrative, let us first unveil the enigmatic figure behind the words, the extraordinary author herself. Margaret Peterson Haddix, a luminary in the realm of young adult literature, stands as a literary force to be reckoned with. With a literary career spanning decades and a fervent passion for storytelling, Haddix has crafted a body of work that resonates with readers of all ages. In Among the Hidden, Haddix weaves a tale that spans the breadth of human emotions and explores the complexities of a society governed by fear and control. Within its pages, you will embark on a journey alongside Luke, a young hidden child living in a world where his very existence is deemed illegal. With each chapter, Haddix unveils a new layer of intrigue, delving into the profound themes of identity, sacrifice, and the unyielding pursuit of freedom. This captivating tale spans a riveting narrative arc, encompassing eight chapters that are meticulously crafted to keep you on the edge of your seat. The story unfolds across 160 pages, each one brimming with the intensity of Luke's struggle and the revelations that await him. Haddix's mastery lies not only in her ability to captivate her readers, but also in her profound understanding of the human condition, a gift that allows her to transcend the boundaries of age and connect with readers from all walks of life. As you delve into the pages of Among the Hidden, prepare to be transported to a world that mirrors our own in its triumphs and tribulations. Haddix's prose dances across the pages, casting a spell that will keep you enthralled until the very last word. Through her vivid descriptions and evocative storytelling, she invites you to join Luke on a journey of self-discovery, resilience, and the pursuit of a better tomorrow. So, dear reader, embark on this literary odyssey and let Margaret Peterson Haddix guide you through the hidden recesses of her imagination. Allow her words to ignite your own sense of adventure and introspection. Within the confines of Among the Hidden, a world of mystery and revelation awaits, beckoning you to unearth the truths that lie beneath the surface and to embrace the transformative power of hope. With Haddix as your guide, prepare to be captivated, inspired, and ultimately transformed by the timeless magic of storytelling. A Life in the Shadows In a world not too far in the future, a society governed by oppressive laws and regulations stands tall, casting a dark shadow over the lives of its inhabitants. Among them is 12-year-old Luke Garner, a boy burdened with a secret that could cost him his very existence. Luke is a third child, an outlaw in the eyes of the government, a shadow child forced to live in the hidden recesses of his family's farmhouse. From the moment Luke was born, his life was marked by secrecy and seclusion. The government's population law strictly dictates that families are allowed to have only two children, a measure intended to combat the scarcity of resources and maintain control over the population. Anyone found to be harboring or concealing a third child faces severe consequences. Luke's days are spent confined to the attic, peering through the small cracks and crevices that allow him to catch glimpses of the outside world. He watches as his older brothers, Matthew and Mark, attend school and interact with other children in the neighborhood. But for Luke, contact with the outside is forbidden. He is an invisible presence, relegated to the shadows, his existence known only to his immediate family. His parents, frightened by the potential repercussions, impress upon Luke the importance of absolute secrecy. They warn him never to reveal himself, to avoid any contact with the neighbors or outsiders who might betray his existence to the authorities. It is a life of isolation, a life where every step must be taken with utmost caution. Inside the attic, Luke finds solace in books. 
He loses himself in tales of adventure and courage, longing for a world where he can step out of the darkness and live a life without fear. But as the days turn into weeks and the weeks into months, the weight of his secret grows heavier. Luke yearns for freedom, for a chance to run in the open fields, to feel the warmth of the sun on his face, and to be treated not as an outlaw but as a normal child. Despite the risks, Luke's curiosity pushes him to explore beyond the confines of his attic sanctuary. Through a small vent, he peers into the neighboring house, hoping to catch a glimpse of the life he has been denied. And there, through the dusty glass, he sees it, a face, another child just like him. It is a revelation that sends a shiver down his spine. Who is this mysterious child? Could they too be a shadow child, defying the oppressive laws? Luke's heart races with excitement and trepidation. He feels an undeniable pull, a desire to connect with someone who understands his plight, someone who shares his struggles and dreams. And so, in the darkness of the attic, Luke begins to ponder the possibilities. Will he dare to reach out? Will he risk everything for a chance at friendship and a glimmer of hope? The questions echo in his mind, and with each passing day, the urge to break free from his invisible chains grows stronger. Little does Luke know that this glimpse into the neighboring house will be the catalyst for an extraordinary journey, one that will push him to question the very foundations of the society he was born into, and ignite a fire within him to fight against the injustices imposed upon shadow children like himself. A new chapter is about to begin, one filled with danger, bravery, and the unwavering determination to reclaim his right to be seen and heard. The Revelation of a Friend As the days pass, the image of the face Luke saw in the neighboring house remains etched in his mind. It haunts him, filling his thoughts and igniting a spark of curiosity and hope. Who is this other shadow child? What secrets do they hold? Luke's desire for connection intensifies, and he becomes determined to find a way to reach out. Late one night, when the rest of his family is asleep, Luke ventures into the attic once again. The moon casts a soft glow through the window, illuminating the room and emboldening his spirit. He approaches the vent and peeks through, hoping to catch another glimpse of the mysterious face. To his surprise, the curtains in the neighboring house are open, revealing a room that looks remarkably similar to his own attic. And there, standing in plain sight, is the face that has captivated Luke's thoughts. It belongs to a girl, a shadow child named Jen, who, like him, has been living a life shrouded in secrecy. Jen's eyes meet Luke's through the narrow opening, and a surge of recognition passes between them. Without exchanging a word, they both understand the significance of this encounter. It is a moment of connection, a lifeline thrown to them in a world of isolation and oppression. In that instant, Luke realizes that he is not alone, that there are others who share his forbidden existence. Determined to learn more, Luke finds a piece of paper and a pen and begins to write a message for Jen. Carefully, he folds it into a small paper airplane and sends it soaring through the vent, hoping it will reach her. Minutes later, a response appears, a message written on a crumpled piece of paper floats into Luke's attic. Through this silent correspondence, Luke and Jen start to unravel each other's stories. Jen reveals that she is not just a shadow child, but a passionate activist who belongs to a secret organization fighting against the government's oppressive policies. She has been working tirelessly to expose the truth, to rally support, and to advocate for the rights of shadow children. Luke is in awe of Jen's bravery and determination. Her words ignite a fire within him, a desire to break free from the shackles of secrecy and join the fight for justice. They exchange ideas, share stories of their isolated lives, and discuss the injustices they have witnessed. Through their clandestine conversations, they find solace in their shared experiences and strength in their shared purpose. As their friendship deepens, Jen proposes a plan, a plan to organize a rally, a gathering of shadow children and sympathizers, to bring attention to their cause and demand change. It is a risky proposition, 
one that could have dire consequences if discovered by the government. But the potential for progress and the hope of a better future outweigh the risks. Luke, initially hesitant about exposing himself to such danger, begins to realize that he can no longer remain hidden in the safety of his attic. He yearns to step out into the light, to raise his voice alongside others who understand the weight of their existence. With newfound courage, Luke commits to joining Jen in her quest for justice, knowing that their actions may shape the destiny of all shadow children. And so, as the moon slowly fades into the horizon, Luke and Jen continue to exchange messages, making plans and nurturing their friendship. They are two solitary souls united by a common purpose, to challenge the oppressive regime, to fight for their right to live without fear, and to illuminate the hidden lives of shadow children. Together, they will forge a path towards a brighter future, where every child is seen, heard, and valued. A Rally for Change With their hearts aflame with purpose and determination, Luke and Jen set their plan into motion. The idea of organizing a rally, a gathering of shadow children and their supporters, becomes a beacon of hope, a chance to expose the injustices of the government and rally public support for their cause. Late at night, under the cover of darkness, Luke sneaks out of his attic and makes his way to the meeting spot that Jen has designated. It is a hidden location, nestled within the dense woods, far from prying eyes and the watchful gaze of the government. As Luke approaches, he can sense the anticipation and nervous energy in the air. The rally begins to take shape as more shadow children arrive, their faces a mixture of fear and determination. Luke feels a sense of camaraderie, a bond that goes beyond words. These are his peers, fellow shadow children who have been forced into a life of secrecy and silence. For the first time, Luke is not alone. Jen, with her natural leadership qualities, steps forward, her voice carrying through the crowd as she delivers a passionate speech. She speaks of the government's control, of the oppressive population law that robs them of their identity and freedom. Her words resonate with the shadow children and kindle a flame of rebellion within them. Luke, inspired by Jen's courage, finds his own voice. He steps forward and shares his story, his journey of hiding and longing for a normal life. As he speaks, he sees the determination in the eyes of those listening, the shared yearning for change. It is a pivotal moment, a moment where silence is shattered, and the power of unity takes hold. Together, the shadow children pledged to fight for their rights, to demand recognition from a society that has forgotten them. They devise strategies, plan protests, and spread their message through secret networks and coded messages. Their cause begins to gain traction, whispers of the rally spreading like wildfire through the underground resistance. However, the path to change is not without obstacles. The government, fearful of any challenge to its authority, becomes aware of the growing dissent. The population police, a force of enforcers tasked with maintaining order, heighten their surveillance and intensify their efforts to root out the shadow children and their allies. Luke and Jen, aware of the risks, continue to push forward, refusing to be silenced. They know that the rally is just the beginning, a spark that will ignite a revolution. They reach out to sympathetic adults, individuals who understand the plight of the shadow children and are willing to lend their support. As their network grows, Luke and Jen start to see the impact of their actions. The rally becomes a catalyst, inspiring other shadow children to come forward, to share their stories, and to demand change. It is a movement that cannot be ignored, a force that cannot be contained. In the midst of their organizing efforts, Luke and Jen also face personal challenges. They struggle with doubts and fears, wondering if their actions will lead to consequences for their families. But the belief in their cause and the unwavering support of their fellow shadow children propel them forward, reminding them of the importance of their mission. As the day of the planned protest draws near, tension fills the air. The shadow children prepare themselves mentally and emotionally, ready to face whatever lies ahead. They know that the road ahead is fraught with danger, 
but they also know that they can no longer hide in the shadows, they must emerge, united and strong, to demand the freedom and equality they deserve. With the rally just on the horizon, Luke and Jen share a moment of quiet reflection. They gaze at the stars above, a symbol of hope and possibility. They are on the precipice of change, ready to challenge the oppressive regime and fight for a future where every child, regardless of their birth order, can live without fear. Together, they stand as beacons of resistance, ready to ignite a revolution that will shape the destiny of their world. The Rally Unveiled The day of the rally dawns, and Luke's heart pounds with a mixture of excitement and apprehension. He can feel the weight of responsibility on his shoulders, knowing that the success of the protest rests on the shoulders of the Shadow Children and their allies. They gather at a predetermined location, a sprawling field hidden from prying eyes, their voices hushed as they await the commencement of the historic event. Jen stands at the center, her voice strong and unwavering as she addresses the crowd. She speaks of their shared struggles, the injustices they face, and the need for unity in the face of adversity. Her words electrify the air, igniting a fire within each person present. Luke can see the determination etched on every face, a resolve to fight for their rights and challenge the oppressive regime that seeks to erase their existence. With a surge of energy, the rally begins. The Shadow Children, their supporters, and sympathizers march in unison, holding signs and banners emblazoned with slogans of resistance. They chant powerful rallying cries, their voices echoing across the field, proclaiming their demand for justice and equality. It is a display of unity and defiance, a force that cannot be ignored. As they make their way through the city, the rally draws attention from the general population. Onlookers pause in their daily routines, curiosity and intrigue replacing indifference. Some join the procession, their numbers swelling with each passing block. The movement gains momentum, becoming a powerful testament to the strength of the human spirit and the resilience of those who have been cast aside. The government, alerted to the growing unrest, responds with force. Police barricades line the streets, armed officers standing in stoic determination, their presence intended to intimidate and suppress the rally. But the shadow children press forward, undeterred by the show of authority. They know that they are fighting not only for themselves but for the future generations who deserve a life free from oppression. As the crowd reaches the central plaza, tension fills the air. Luke's heart races as he takes in the sea of faces, people of all ages, races, and backgrounds united by a common cause. They stand shoulder to shoulder, refusing to be silenced. The atmosphere crackles with anticipation, a palpable energy that seems to defy the very forces seeking to keep them in the shadows. Jen steps onto the makeshift stage, her voice amplified by a megaphone. She delivers a heartfelt speech, her words resonating with the crowd, stirring emotions and reaffirming their purpose. Luke watches, his admiration for her unwavering. She is a beacon of strength, a symbol of the resistance that burns within each person gathered before her. In a moment of solidarity, the shadow children step forward, one by one, sharing their stories, their struggles, and their dreams. They become more than mere faces in the crowd, they become a collective voice, a force to be reckoned with. Their stories intertwine, forming a tapestry of resilience and hope, weaving together a narrative that cannot be ignored. Suddenly, chaos erupts as the government forces mobilize to disperse the rally. Tear gas fills the air, the acrid scent burning their eyes and throats. The police move in, wielding batons, trying to subdue the protesters. Panic and fear ripple through the crowd, but the spirit of resistance remains unyielding. Luke feels a surge of adrenaline as he grabs Jen's hand, their eyes locking in determination. They refuse to back down. Together, they push through the chaos, their voices rising above the clamor. They become the embodiment of defiance, a testament to the power of unity in the face of oppression. The clashes between the shadow children and the police escalate, 
but so does the resolve of those fighting for change. The rally becomes a turning point, a catalyst that sparks a larger movement. Images and footage of the protests circulate through social media and news outlets, capturing the attention of people far beyond the immediate vicinity. The plight of the shadow children is no longer hidden, it is thrust into the spotlight, demanding the world's attention. In the aftermath of the rally, Luke and Jen retreat to their secret hideout, exhausted but filled with a sense of accomplishment. They know that the fight is far from over, that the road to true equality will be long and arduous. But they also know that they have made an impact, that they have ignited a spark that will continue to burn in the hearts of all who yearn for justice. As they reflect on the day's events, Luke and Jen draw strength from the camaraderie they have found. They are no longer just shadow children, they are warriors, advocates, and beacons of hope. Their rallying cry will echo through the annals of history, inspiring generations to come to stand up against oppression and fight for a world where every child's right to exist is recognized and cherished. The shadows unite. In the aftermath of the rally, the government's response to the shadow children becomes increasingly severe. The population police intensify their efforts to track down and apprehend those involved in the protest, viewing them as a threat to their control and authority. Luke and Jen find themselves thrust into a dangerous game of cat and mouse, navigating a world filled with constant surveillance and heightened paranoia. To protect their identities and continue their fight, Luke and Jen reach out to underground networks and sympathetic individuals who share their cause. They form alliances with activists, journalists, and even former government insiders disillusioned by the regime's oppressive tactics. Together, they weave a web of resistance, pooling their resources and knowledge to strategize their next move. In clandestine meetings held in hidden locations, plans are hatched to expose the government's atrocities and rally public support. Luke's role evolves from that of a shy and fearful boy to a bold and resourceful agent of change. He discovers his own talents, skills in hacking, encryption, and communication, that prove invaluable in the ongoing battle against the oppressive regime. Jen, too, continues to lead with unwavering determination. Her charisma and ability to inspire others make her a natural leader in the resistance movement. Together, she and Luke become the heart and soul of the Shadow Children's fight, their names whispered in both admiration and fear among those who dare to dream of a better world. As the movement gains momentum, Luke and Jen's efforts bear fruit. The truth about the government's treatment of shadow children begins to seep into the collective consciousness of the nation. Media outlets, driven by a newfound sense of responsibility, amplify the voices of the oppressed, exposing the government's lies and shedding light on the dark reality faced by shadow children. Public opinion begins to shift. The rally serves as a catalyst for widespread empathy and outrage, as ordinary citizens realize the injustice perpetuated in their midst. Protests and demonstrations demanding the repeal of the population law erupt in cities across the country. The voice of the shadow children becomes a thunderous chorus, impossible to ignore. The government, feeling the pressure of public scrutiny, attempts to quell the uprising through propaganda and censorship. They paint the shadow children as criminals, seeking to undermine their cause and turn public sentiment against them. But the resistance is resilient. Through underground channels and the power of social media, the truth continues to spread, fueling the flames of rebellion. Luke and Jen find themselves at the forefront of this battle, targeted by the government as threats to their control. They live in constant fear, never knowing when their identities may be exposed or when their loved ones may be in danger. Yet, they refuse to be silenced. Their commitment to the cause and their unwavering belief in the inherent rights of all children keep them going, even in the face of adversity. As the movement grows, so does the government's desperation. They resort to increasingly brutal tactics to suppress dissent, employing surveillance, arrests, and even violence. 
Luke and Jen witness the sacrifices made by their fellow activists, the lengths to which they are willing to go for the sake of a brighter future. Amidst the turmoil, Luke and Jen's bond deepens. Their shared experiences and shared purpose forge a connection that transcends words. They become each other's pillars of strength, drawing solace from their unwavering support and understanding. In a world filled with shadows and uncertainty, their friendship remains a guiding light. Together, they continue to strategize, innovate, and resist. They leverage technology to expose government secrets, mobilize support, and amplify the voices of the oppressed. The shadow children become a force to be reckoned with, not just in their numbers but in their unwavering determination to dismantle the oppressive regime that has haunted their lives. As they delve deeper into the heart of the resistance movement, Luke and Jen discover that their fight extends beyond the confines of their own country. Shadow children in other nations face similar challenges, and connections are forged across borders. The movement becomes a global struggle for justice and equality, transcending cultural boundaries and reminding the world of the universal importance of every child's right to exist. In this ever-evolving battle, Luke and Jen stand as beacons of hope, inspiring countless others to join their cause. Their unwavering commitment and their willingness to sacrifice everything for the greater good continue to fuel the revolution. They understand that the journey is far from over, but they face the challenges with unwavering resolve, knowing that the shadows will not be their forever home. A Whisper of Change The winds of change blow fiercely as the resistance movement reaches its climax. Luke and Jen, now recognized as the faces of the shadow children's fight, find themselves propelled into the epicenter of a revolution they never imagined possible. The government, rattled by the growing strength of the movement, resorts to desperate measures to maintain its grip on power. Luke's hacking skills become a vital asset as he infiltrates government databases, unearthing evidence of corruption, manipulation, and the extent of the government's crimes against humanity. The information he uncovers is a powerful weapon, shining a glaring light on the darkest corners of their society. Each revelation further galvanizes the public, fueling their determination to bring about lasting change. Meanwhile, Jen's rallying cries continue to resonate, echoing through the hearts and minds of all who yearn for justice. She becomes a symbol of hope, her unwavering spirit and unwavering belief in a better future inspiring even the most disillusioned among them. Her words become anthems of defiance, sung by the masses, reverberating through the streets, and challenging the very foundations of the oppressive regime. The government, feeling the weight of public opinion against them, becomes increasingly desperate. They attempt to suppress the resistance with brute force, deploying the population police to quell protests and arrest activists. But the people refuse to be silenced. They stand firm, emboldened by their collective strength, refusing to back down in the face of oppression. Luke and Jen find themselves at the center of the storm, leading the charge with unwavering determination. They strategize tirelessly, mobilizing their allies, and forming coalitions with other marginalized groups who have long suffered under the government's iron fist. Their movement becomes a tapestry of diverse voices, united in their shared struggle for freedom and justice. As the government's grip on power weakens, cracks begin to form within its ranks. Dissent seeps through the cracks, as even those once loyal to the regime start to question its morality. Whispers of rebellion circulate among the government officials, some of whom secretly aid the resistance from within, providing invaluable information and resources. Luke and Jen seize this opportunity, infiltrating the highest echelons of power. They expose the government's atrocities, one revelation at a time, ensuring that the truth cannot be silenced. Their actions spark a chain reaction, with more and more officials defecting and joining the cause. The once impenetrable fortress of the government starts to crumble from within. The resistance movement escalates into a full-blown uprising. The people, emboldened by the courage of the shadow children and the revelations of government corruption, take to the streets in unprecedented numbers. 
Peaceful protests transform into passionate demonstrations, demanding justice, equality, and an end to the oppressive regime that has plagued their lives. Luke and Jen, surrounded by a sea of faces, realize that their struggle is no longer just about the shadow children. It has evolved into a fight for the rights of all citizens, a fight against tyranny and the abuse of power. The movement becomes a melting pot of diverse voices, united in their shared vision of a society where every individual is seen, heard, and valued. The government, cornered and overwhelmed, finally succumbs to the relentless pressure of the people. In a momentous turning point, the oppressive regime is toppled, its leaders brought to justice. The day dawns when the population law is repealed, and the shackles that have bound the shadow children for so long are shattered. The aftermath is one of celebration, as the nation emerges from the shadows and embraces a newfound freedom. Luke and Jen, having played pivotal roles in this historic transformation, find solace in the knowledge that their sacrifices were not in vain. They have left an indelible mark on their world, a legacy of resilience, and a reminder that even in the face of the darkest adversity, the human spirit is capable of igniting a flame of change. As the nation rebuilds, Luke and Jen continue their advocacy work, ensuring that the rights of all children, regardless of their birth order, are protected and cherished. They establish organizations dedicated to providing support, education, and resources to those who have been marginalized and oppressed. Their voices remain a guiding light, a reminder that the struggle for justice is an ongoing journey, and that change is possible when individuals unite for a common cause. The story of the shadow children lives on, passed down through generations as a reminder of the power of perseverance and the triumph of the human spirit. Luke and Jen, now legends in their own right, find solace in knowing that their fight has ignited a spark that will forever burn in the hearts of those who dare to dream of a better world. Their journey may have started in the shadows, but it ends in a blaze of hope, illuminating a path towards a future where every child can live without fear. A new dawn. In the aftermath of the revolution, a wave of hope washes over the nation. The oppressive regime has crumbled, and a new era begins, brimming with possibilities. Luke and Jen, their spirits alight with the triumph of their cause, set out to rebuild a society that values the rights and dignity of every individual. With the support of the people, Luke and Jen spearhead the formation of a transitional government. Comprised of activists, intellectuals, and representatives from diverse backgrounds, this coalition aims to ensure a fair and inclusive society for all. Their mandate is to dismantle the remnants of the old regime, restore justice, and lay the foundation for a future built on principles of equality and human rights. One of their first acts is to initiate an extensive truth and reconciliation process. The wounds of the past must be acknowledged, and the voices of the oppressed must be heard. Survivors of the population laws are given a platform to share their experiences, their pain, and their hopes for a better future. Through this process, the nation confronts its past, learns from its mistakes, and collectively takes responsibility for forging a new path forward. Education becomes a cornerstone of the rebuilding process. Luke and Jen champion an educational reform agenda that ensures every child has access to quality schooling, regardless of their birth order. Schools become spaces of inclusivity, where diversity is celebrated, and the curriculum is designed to promote empathy, critical thinking, and social justice. The youth, empowered with knowledge and a deep understanding of the past, become torchbearers of a more enlightened society. Simultaneously, the government invests in healthcare and social welfare programs to address the long-standing disparities that have plagued the nation. Access to healthcare becomes a fundamental right, and initiatives are implemented to provide equal opportunities for all citizens, irrespective of their socioeconomic status. The scars of the population laws run deep, but the healing process begins, and the government commits to rectifying the systemic injustices that have persisted for far too long. As the nation transitions, it grapples with the complex task of reconciliation and rebuilding trust. 
Communities once divided by fear and suspicion now come together, finding common ground in their shared aspirations for a brighter future. Grassroots initiatives take root, fostering dialogue, fostering understanding, and forging connections between individuals who were once considered enemies. The collective determination to heal and move forward becomes a powerful force, binding the nation together. Luke and Jen, although hailed as heroes, remain grounded in their purpose. They continue to work tirelessly, advocating for the rights of the marginalized and vulnerable. They strive to dismantle the deeply ingrained prejudices that still persist, challenging societal norms and fostering a culture of acceptance and empathy. Their vision is a society where every person, regardless of their background, is seen as equal and deserving of respect. In the years that follow, the nation undergoes a remarkable transformation. Economic opportunities flourish as innovation and entrepreneurship thrive in an atmosphere of freedom and creativity. The arts, too, experience a renaissance, as artists and performers use their talents to reflect upon the past, inspire change, and celebrate the resilience of the human spirit. Internationally, the nation becomes a symbol of hope and progress, inspiring movements for justice and equality around the globe. Luke and Jen become ambassadors for social change, their voices resonating far beyond their own borders. They share their experiences, offer guidance, and lend support to those fighting against oppression, reminding the world that no struggle is insurmountable when individuals unite for a common cause. As the years pass, Luke and Jen watch with pride as the seeds they planted blossom into a vibrant, inclusive society. They reflect on the long and arduous journey they embarked upon as frightened children hiding in the shadows, and marvel at the legacy they leave behind, a nation where the rights of every child are protected, cherished, and celebrated. Their work is not done, for the struggle for justice and equality is a perpetual one. But they take solace in knowing that they have ignited a flame of change, a flame that will burn brightly for generations to come. And as they gaze upon the transformed landscape, they are filled with gratitude, for the unwavering support of their allies, for the courage of their fellow activists, and for the unyielding spirit of the shadow children who refuse to be forgotten. For Luke and Jen, this is not just the end of their story, it is the beginning of a new chapter, a chapter in which hope triumphs over fear, and where the voices of the oppressed resound with unwavering conviction. And together, they step into the future, hand in hand, ready to face whatever challenges may come, knowing that their journey has paved the way for a brighter and more just world. The Legacy of Light In the years that follow the transformative revolution, a sense of peace and stability settles upon the nation. Luke and Jen, now revered as symbols of change and progress, continue their tireless efforts to build a society that upholds the values of justice, equality, and compassion. But they also recognize the importance of nurturing the seeds of their hard-fought victory to ensure a lasting legacy. With the passage of time, Luke and Jen turn their attention to the next generation, the children who will inherit the world they have fought so fiercely to create. They champion initiatives to foster empathy, tolerance, and social responsibility in young minds. Education evolves into a holistic experience, nurturing not only academic skills but also emotional intelligence, critical thinking, and a deep understanding of the importance of community. Schools become vibrant hubs of creativity and exploration, where children from all walks of life come together to learn, share, and grow. The curriculum expands to include lessons on human rights, social justice, and global citizenship. Students engage in projects that address real-world issues, honing their problem-solving skills and developing a strong sense of agency. Luke and Jen establish scholarship programs to ensure that every child, regardless of their background, has access to quality education. They recognize the power of knowledge as a catalyst for change, and they strive to eliminate barriers that prevent children from reaching their full potential. Through their efforts, a generation of young leaders emerges, armed with the tools to confront injustice and shape a more equitable world.
The government, under Luke and Jen's guidance, invests heavily in social welfare programs that support families and protect the most vulnerable members of society. Affordable housing initiatives, healthcare reforms, and comprehensive support networks are established to ensure that no child is left behind. The scars of the past continue to heal, and the nation becomes a beacon of compassion and solidarity. Recognizing the need for continued dialogue and inclusivity, Luke and Jen foster platforms for open discussions and participatory decision-making. Town hall meetings, community forums, and youth-led initiatives become integral components of the nation's governance. The voices of the people are not only heard but actively sought and valued, shaping policies that reflect the aspirations and needs of the entire society. Luke and Jen also prioritize environmental sustainability, recognizing the interdependence between humans and the planet. They advocate for green initiatives, renewable energy, and responsible resource management. The nation becomes a model for sustainable development, showing the world that progress can be achieved while preserving the natural world for future generations. Outside the nation's borders, Luke and Jen become influential figures in international affairs, spreading their message of justice and equality to the global stage. They collaborate with other nations, sharing their experiences and offering support to those still struggling under oppressive regimes. Their efforts help foster a global network of activists and leaders dedicated to creating a more just and compassionate world. As Luke and Jen age, they pass the torch to a new generation of changemakers. Their tireless work has inspired countless individuals to take up the mantle and continue the fight for justice. The nation they have built stands as a testament to the power of unity, resilience, and unwavering commitment to a common vision. In their later years, Luke and Jen find solace in the knowledge that their legacy will endure long after they are gone. The nation they help shape remains a shining example of what can be achieved when humanity's collective spirit is harnessed for the greater good. Their story becomes woven into the fabric of the nation's history, a reminder of the transformative power of ordinary individuals who dare to challenge the status quo. Luke and Jen's lives have been defined by their unwavering belief in the inherent worth and dignity of every human being. Their journey from hidden children to leaders of a nation has left an indelible mark on the world, a legacy of light that continues to guide generations towards a future where justice, equality, and compassion prevail. Epilogue, a tapestry of hope years have passed since the revolution that reshaped the nation and the lives of Luke and Jen. As they enter the twilight of their lives, they find solace in witnessing the enduring impact of their actions. The nation they help to transform stands as a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and the power of collective action. In the tapestry of the nation's story, the threads of justice and equality are interwoven with the vibrant hues of diversity and inclusivity. The scars of the past have not been forgotten, but they serve as reminders of the nation's collective journey towards a brighter future. The wounds have healed, leaving behind a society where individuals are valued for their unique contributions, regardless of their background. Luke and Jen, now revered as national treasures, continue to be pillars of wisdom and inspiration. Their experiences, once shrouded in secrecy, are now shared openly, serving as a living testimony to the courage and resilience of the shadow children. They speak at conferences, write books, and engage with younger generations, passing down the lessons learned from the struggles of the past. Their commitment to justice and equality extends beyond national borders. Luke and Jen have become global advocates, working alongside activists from around the world to address systemic injustices and fight against oppression. Their voices, amplified by their nation's transformative journey, carry weight and influence, inspiring movements for change across continents. The nation they helped build has become a beacon of hope for countries still grappling with inequality and injustice. Diplomats and leaders from around the world seek guidance, drawing inspiration from the nation's successful transition to a more equitable society. The lessons learned from their journey serve as blueprints for other nations, reminding them that change is possible, 
no matter how daunting the obstacles may seem. Within the nation, the seeds of empathy and compassion planted by Luke and Jen have flourished. Acts of kindness and solidarity are woven into the fabric of daily life. Communities are tightly knit, and neighbors support one another through hardships. The collective memory of the shadow children's struggle serves as a constant reminder of the importance of empathy and understanding. Children, born in the era of light, grow up knowing their inherent worth and the importance of treating others with respect. They are educated in a system that values empathy, critical thinking, and global citizenship. The nation's commitment to education has yielded a generation of young leaders who are equipped with the tools to address the challenges of the present and shape the future with wisdom and compassion. The arts have flourished, reflecting the nation's newfound sense of freedom and self-expression. Artists, writers, musicians, and performers use their talents to explore the complexities of the human experience and challenge societal norms. Their creations serve as mirrors that reflect the progress made and the work that still lies ahead. Luke and Jen, now in their twilight years, find comfort in knowing that their journey has not been in vain. The sacrifices they made, the battles they fought, and the lives they touched have left an indelible mark on the nation and the world. Their legacy is a testament to the power of resilience, unity, and the unwavering belief in the inherent worth of every individual. As they reflect on their lives, Luke and Jen are filled with gratitude, for the unwavering support of their fellow activists, for the courage of the shadow children who risked everything for a better future, and for the countless allies who stood beside them in the struggle for justice. They know that the journey towards a more just and equitable society is never truly finished, but they take solace in knowing that they have played their part in laying the foundation for a brighter future. The nation they help shape stands as a shining example of what can be achieved when individuals come together with a shared vision and unwavering determination. It is a testament to the enduring power of hope and the human capacity to overcome even the most daunting challenges. As the sun sets on their lives, Luke and Jen find peace in knowing that their legacy will live on in the hearts and minds of those they have inspired. Their story will be passed down through generations, a reminder that change is possible, and that even the smallest actions can have far-reaching impacts. And so, their journey continues in the hearts and actions of those who carry the torch of justice and equality. The nation they help shape marches forward, guided by the light of their legacy, towards a future where every individual is valued, every voice is heard, and every dream is within reach.